My name is Gautam Pacharavi and I'm the current PTL for the OpenStack Manula team. I'd like to give you a high-level overview of the project and give you an update about the things that we've accomplished in the recent Victoria release and our plans for Wallaby. So what is Manula? Manula is a service that seeks to provide OpenStack users the ability to provision and manage the life cycles of POSIX compliant shared and distributed file systems. It's inherently multi-tenant and secure. It is capable of providing hard network and data path isolation guarantees with the help of tenant dedicated share servers. Tenants from the get-go can determine who has access to a shared file system and this access can be revoked at any time in real time. Tenants can integrate their own authentication domains, so think Kerberos, Active Directory, or LDAP. Further, tenant resources are scalable and elastic, so they can be growing and shrinking shared file systems instantaneously and easily. Manila supports several NAS protocols like NFS, FFS, SIFS, ClusterFS, HDFS, and so on, and it has drivers for over 35 storage systems or solutions. It can make intelligent placement decisions to ensure that you're making optimum use of your shared storage. Manila also provides a flexible model to expose storage system service catalogs to end users in a discoverable and programmable way. So some statistics now. The Victoria cycle was the 11th production ready release of Manila. This release continues to be supported by all major distributions and deployments tools. The Manila API is growing, uh, has growing support in SDKs. So we'll soon have support in the OpenStack SDK and the Ansible Collections OpenStack. We have a healthy community maintaining this uh, project. Members come from a variety of Linux distribution companies, storage system companies, and we also have a lot of independent contributors, many of whom are students or new contributors that are making their first uh, open source contributions. There's growing pub, uh, adoption of Manila in public clouds, as well as in high performance computing. So let's preview a few things that the project team accomplished in the Victoria cycle. So we added support for share server migration. This is a two-phase design and administrators can use this feature to fa uh, facilitate cold and live migration of share servers. And they can go for within storage pools or even across storage pools and backends. And this uh, feature has been implemented in the container and then adapt storage drivers and more drivers are to follow in the, in the next few releases. So the share replication uh, feature is, is now generally available. Uh, we've, we added this uh, feature as experimental uh, in the Mitaka cycle and over many cycles, we've actually com committed several improvements uh, and many of which um, are, are now being well tested and well used uh, over, the, over this time. So we no longer consider these APIs experimental. You don't need to include the experimental header uh, to have access to these APIs, and you can use these APIs to plan your load balancing or disaster recovery strategies. We had several driver imp uh, feature improvements, uh, including in the uh, con container driver, we added support for share migration, we added support for adaptive QoS and share server transfer limits in the NetApp driver, uh, the Dell EMC in Unity driver now supports a new driver filter, and snapshots are fully supported in the CephFS driver. Several client uh, enhancements were made as well. Uh, we continue to improve on our OSC integration. Uh, the OSC client now supports interacting with shares, snapshots, access rules, share types, quotas, and resize. We we continue to play the catch-up game uh, and complete the parity there with the Python Manila client. We also added support for user messages in the UI, uh, so users can no, don't need to leave the UI in order to uh, triage asynchronous failures that can happen and that can be reattempted. Uh, and we made uh, several several improvements to testing and continuous integration through throughout this cycle, and I think this reflects in the number of bug fixes that we committed during this cycle, uh, because we added new test cases to uh, several existing. Uh, file system protocols or file system management modes like for example the hard multi-tenancy mode and for uh, exclusively testing the admin admin interactions against various uh, shared backends and stuff 
So we also made uh, many improvements in the Manila CSI land. Uh, although the release cycle is not coordinated with the rest of OpenStack, uh, it follows the uh, Kubernetes release cycle. Uh, but, but what coincided with the Ectoria cycle has been the introduction of new Helm charts, a new OpenShift operator, and support for uh, OpenStack availability zones, um, and also for shoving in any runtime configuration to make intelligent decisions uh, while mounting shares onto the uh, Kubernetes node plugins, and for also share metadata uh, to be added to tag the, share, to tag the provision uh, resources and so on. So all of this uh, can also be used against older versions of OpenStack, um, and that's, that's the way that the driver has been implemented. Uh, so we just recently concluded our project technical gathering for the upcoming Wallaby cycle and so we have a fair idea of the things we want to accomplish in the current release cycle. First off is Vertio FS. This is a novel file system attachment protocol that's been developed within the Linux kernel and it's aimed at virtual machines. So now that there is sufficient mainstream adoption for the kernel, it's time to integrate that into OpenStack. And so with this release, we, play, we aim to provide file system attachments to NOVA VMs. And with the help of NOVA APIs, you could do what you could be doing with block devices today. So let's say we can, you can execute OpenStack server FS attach or detach and expect NOVA to interact with Manila to gather all of the attachment info, arbitrate the security and the access rules and so on, mount the file system via the host kernel, make it available to the guest virtual machine. So this should greatly enhance the user experience for Manila and Nova users of shared file systems. And it also provides a uh, more secure way of accessing um, shared, shared file system drivers in Manila that do not support the hard multi-tenancy guarantees, um, the, the network path multi-tenancy guarantees that some of them do. So uh, we're also looking to enhance support for the CephFS drivers. Uh, in the upcoming cycle, we will be adding support for en enhanced snapshot cloning, something that Ceph is backporting to the Ceph Nautilus release upstream. And we're also support, uh, adding support for the upcoming releases of Ceph, Ceph such as uh, Ceph Octopus and Ceph Pacific. Uh, we will also be making several RBAC and security improvements. We will be supporting the reader uh, user admin role as well as refreshing policies to support um, the user scope uh, feature that's been added to Keystone in the, in the past several cycles. We're also planning to drop the use of root wrap and provide a more um, secure and, and flexible um, you know, uh, way of privilege escalation via a Oslo PRIF step in this cycle. We also plan to enhance security services to be mutable so users can make any day two changes to their security services and or even add or remove security services on existing um, share networks. And we're trying to make the metadata APIs consistent across all user facing resources in uh, Manila. And of course, we'll continue to keep the momentum on OpenStack client, OpenStack SDK. And um, we, 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 as I said before, we have uh, several new contributors um, in the in the form of students uh, that are that are looking to uh, you know get involved with OpenStack or open source, and uh, we're helping them help us land this uh, important piece. And we're also looking to continue work making UI improvements, uh, where we're going to be ca doing a version catch up with the Manila API. And in the CSI drivers, uh, we're looking to add support to share resize and also try to re-architect re the, the driver to be a multi-protocol driver. Uh, so that way it makes things easier for day two management and for observability and other concerns. So we have a lot to accomplish in terms of features and bug fixes. And so we'd greatly benefit from your help. So should you be interested to contribute, we'd love to have help in several areas, uh, code, maintainership, and documentation. We enjoy bringing new contributors on board and we, we're changing some of the process to make it easier to become a core, core reviewer. So please get in touch with us if you're interested. Alongside, there are a couple of useful links here for unfinished work that's important to the project team. So if you're willing to help, these are great places to start. That said, thank you so much for listening. I highly appreciate your contributions, help, and support in keeping us motivated 
and for making Manila better with each release.